morning, beloved. We welcome you in the mighty name of Jesus. We say that this is the day that the Lord has made. We all rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Amen. So again, in Romans 8 verse 11, Romans 8 verse 11, it says, And if the Spirit of Him who raised Jesus from the dead Amen. is living in yes. you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies Amen. through His Spirit who lives in you. Yes. So the same power that raised Jesus Christ awesome from the dead power. lives in you, lives in me, and it's, it's raised our bodies yes. up, it's given us life. Mm. You must expect it. You know, yeah. we've seen many things over the years that yeah. we've been ministering. We've, we've seen people on death's bed. We've seen people, uh, and, and I'm thinking of one particular um, time when we were uh, called, somebody had been um, hit and run. Remember when we lived before in the plots? Yeah. Oh, yes. And uh, yes, it was yes. about midnight. Yeah, right. yeah, right, yeah. And there was ca some kind of a row. And uh, the, the young chappy. He came banging on the window. Yeah, but before that, the, the, the guy was hit and run. He was in the street. He was actually dying. Oh, yeah. And so somebody came banging on our window and called us. And we ran out there. And I saw this child. Well, he was about 18 years yeah. of age. And his body was actually lifeless. Yeah. And I just said, no, I can't accept this. I can't. He's, what is his mother going to know that she's going to get the news of her son? I yeah. said, no, I, I'm a mother. I would know what it feels yeah. like. So I went to him. We went to him and I prayed. And I said, the same power that raised Jesus amen. Christ from the amen. dead dwells in you. It's quick in your mortal body. Yes. And we kept on praying for That's him. It. And we kept on praying and we cried out to the Lord. And we said, Lord. Please give him back to his mother. Yes, amen. Please give him back. And it amen. was the tears were running down my cheeks because I didn't want anything to happen to that young boy. Yeah. And anyhow, eventually, eventually when the, the ambulance came, we stayed with him and we just kept on praying and praying. Mm -hmm. And it was he was like in and out of like a coma oh, or whatever yeah. it was. And then um, we let the ambulance take him to the hospital and yeah. that. And I think within a week he was discharged. A couple it? of days later, the, the, the neighbor, we asked what happened. She said he flatlined about three or four times in the ambulance. He flatlined. Yeah. But within about two or three weeks, he was out of the hospital. Yeah. Uh, even when they said he wouldn't make it. Yeah. But God was merciful. His God, power. he yes, that's right, the same power. power. You know what? When Resurrection you, power. When you go through any uh, circumstances or any uh, difficulties in life or Amen. whatever, just call out the same power that raised That's Jesus it. from the dead dwells in you and yes. it will quicken your mortal body. Yes. If you come uh, to an accident scene or anything and you're a Christian, pray life over that That's person. It, pray you. life and ask the Lord to give that, that person back to their yes. families. Don't let the person lie there and die without right. any prayer and hope. That's so right. cry out to God on those people's yes. behalf. You, you know? have authority and power right. to change That's right. a death situation into, into a, life. a light That's situation. Right. Yes, and you know there's so many uh, situations that we've come across against uh, in our lives. And you know, even um, before we see it, when we see an, an, an ambulance and there, their lights and the sirens are going, firstly I pray, say, Lord, please, yeah. Uh, restore those families. Give yeah. them peace in their hearts. Father, give that person, whoever it is in the accident, give them a miracle, Father. I'm always looking out for times to pray for people. Yeah. And you know what? Uh, the more you sow, the more uh, the, the more you sow, the more you will reap. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you know what? When you pray for others, somebody else is going to pray for you as well. Yes. And, and God is a merciful God because He will always remember what, however you pray for somebody else. It will always yes, come back amen. to you. It will always come back to your family. Amen. Never be a person that's only me, myself, and I. Yeah. Pray for somebody else in this me, bad. Yeah. Pray for somebody else that's in the same circumstances or in difficulties. Pray for them because you don't know what it feels like until you've been there. 
and just pray and ask God to restore that person and heal them and yeah. give them back to their family. You know, God is a compassionate God yeah. and uh, He He's merciful and He will honor the prayer that you've prayed Amen. in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So just remember, there is power, the same power that raised Jesus from the dead yes. to in you as quick in your mortal body. Amen. And it's the same, speak Thank to your you, finances, Jesus. the same power that yes. raised Jesus from the dead. Raise your finances. Amen. Yes, Amen. It will bring your finances back to life. In Jesus, in Jesus' name, Amen. So never give up on the on the, on on the uh, the word of God. Amen. Just remember that. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Amen. It's a good word for you today. Put a power and authority. You see, we're not walking in the power and authority we should walk in sometimes, and we especially forget. when the pressure comes on you, it's yourself you that you're going down, through give up. a storm yourself. But always remember, Jesus is in the boat with you. And the best way to wake Jesus up is for you to you exercise your power and your authority in Jesus' name. So we come to the supper table and we partake of the bread that represents Jesus' body that was beaten for our healing in Jesus' name. It was power that took Jesus to the cross, anointing power, power of the Holy Spirit. It was power that caused Jesus to give up his spirit. It was power that caused Jesus, after he was buried, to go into the depths of hell and to take the keys of the gates of, of Hades and death and take those that were held captive into God's captivity and to, for them to be released. And it was God's Holy Spirit power that raised Jesus from the dead. And it, it's the same power that will make a difference in your life. But the devil will try and distract you. The devil will try and weaken you. You've got to stay focused and keep that in your mind all the time. In Jesus' name. So let's eat of this bread. Do you want to say something? I was going to say, let's come Don't matter, say it. It's a supper table. You talk around the supper table. That's right, that's right. Praise God. And then let's hold up the cup, uh, which represents the blood of Jesus that was shed for our salvation and brought in the new dispensation of grace. That's why it's called the cup of grace in Jesus' name. We don't deserve it. We can't earn it. But because of God's love for us, he's given it to us as a gift. And we receive it now, Lord. We thank you for it. We thank you that uh, by the stripes that fell on the back of Jesus, we are healed. We thank you, Lord, by the blood that he shed, we are saved and we have eternal life and peace in our minds. In Jesus' name, let's drink together. Amen. Hallelujah. Put your hope, your source in the Lord Jesus yes, Christ. Amen. will not disappoint you. Amen. You know what? Sometimes God is silent. Yes. <laughs> and you've cried out to Him. He wants to say it's all His faith. And you haven't heard nothing. Yeah. Lord, what should I do? Lord, give us a clear path. How yeah. should we do it? And you keep on praying, and God just sits and waits. But he is talking. You know what happens? It's a trick of the devil. For you to go through anxiety and stress, and your spiritual ears get blocked they up, up, and you can't hear what God is saying. You've got to take yourself, put yourself to one side. Don't let other people put pressure on you. Don't ever do that. Don't make any decisions based on fear. I must talk about that just now. But don't make any decisions based on fear. Just set yourself aside to spend time with the Lord and just quietly worship Him. And before you know where you are, you'll hear Him talking to you That's right. in a new direction. Right. Absolutely. In Jesus' name. So, so just know. Say goodbye to the people. <laughs> the Lord will deliver you. Amen. He will come through for you. doesn't Amen. matter now what the circumstance looks like. God will come through Amen. for you. We thank, thank you, Lord. Father God, yes, that you will supply hallelujah. all their needs according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Jesus. Father, you are their shepherd, they shall Shaka not lack, Father, in any area Allah. of their lives, Father God. That's right. We just thank you, Father God, you'll give them a miracle Amen. today, Father. A miracle, Father. Amen. Some people want um, a, a creative miracle in their bodies, right. Father. We thank you, Father God, as they've trusted you for years and years for that creative miracle. It shall come to pass in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Continue to pray for us. Amen. As we go through this move, next week we'll be settled in our new home. Well, 
will of God and trusting God for that as well in Jesus' name. And uh, and, uh, and we'll be past this, we'll be through it. We spend every day praying for you all. All the time. Laying our hands on that prayer book. Those of you that the Holy Spirit brings to our remembrance, we pray for you That's every right. single day. We're just asking you to pray for us in Jesus' name. Put a comment. Let us know you're praying for us. Let us know you love us and you receive these videos into your heart in Jesus' mighty name. Praise God till the next time. Bye-bye. God bless you. The Lord bless and keep you. Yes. Make his face shine upon you. Be gracious to you. In Turn Jesus his countenance towards you and give you peace in Jesus' name. Amen. We Amen. love you guys. God bless. Amen.